My name is Jesse Parker, and you're here with the Standing A Podcast. All right, this is Tommy Rush with the Standing A Podcast, and we are here with heavyweight Joseph Parker. How are you doing, Joseph? I'm doing good. All right, first off, how's Texas treating you since you've been here? Texas is good. Uh, today is probably the only cold day. Yeah. It's pretty chilly outside, but other than that, the facilities are amazing. The hotel is good. Uh, you know, I've got family here from New Zealand supporting me, so it's, uh, everything's good. Everything's on track. All right, all right. Um, how are you feeling coming into this this fight, you know, versus uh, Shondell Winters? Um, I feel good, and the reason I say that is because I've trained hard. I've had uh, seven weeks of training in Vegas, and I'm here for a week, and so I'm ready. You know, I've been sparring a lot of rounds, a lot of road work, strength work. So, you know, whatever he brings, I'm going to be prepared for. Okay. All right, and uh, given that you're victorious in that fight. Would you be looking to possibly avenge your loss against Dillian White? Yeah, the, the plan is to uh, go out there and win well and look good doing it. And then, that's how I, I've been asking a fight for Dillian White for a long time, my rematch. Mm-hmm. I still want to fight Chisora. I think uh, uh, he has his reasons why he doesn't want to rematch. You know, he's chasing his dreams of being a champion of the world. But if that doesn't happen, take the fight with me. So it was an exciting fight, first fight. And I believe we can, you know, back it up and do it again. Absolutely. I think that would be a great one to run back, man. Um, Tell me your quick thoughts on the most recent heavyweight bout that we all just saw. You know, it's a big talk around the town, but uh, Fury and Wilder. Tell, tell me your thoughts. My thoughts are that it was a great fight for the division, for boxing. A lot of interest from around the world. And it was an impressive win by Fury. Not, not because, but it was an impressive win because he said he was going to come out and put him on the back foot, throw punches and get him out of there. Uh, he wanted to knock him out in the second round, but Wilder is the type of fighter you can't just get rid of, you know. You saw that he had to throw in the towel to get him out of there. You know, he's a fighter that will go out on the shield. So if they didn't throw in the towel, he would have just kept going until whatever happened. Yeah, and that's what he said he wanted to do. And you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of changes going on right now with some things he's making with his team. And, you know, um, one, uh, another question would be, do you see, which one do you see making the most money given that it happens first? The Tyson Fury and, and Anthony Joshua, or the third match between Fury and Wilder? I think Wilder. the most money would be the first fight. Uh, Fury uh, and Wilder. I mean, Fury and Joshua. Mm-hmm. I think that fight will be, you know, because it's unification. Absolutely. And everyone, will be, everyone is interested in unification. Everyone will be interested in unification. Not only us as fighters, but boxing fans around the world. They want to see who the best is in our division and in our era. I think it's the fight they should make happen, but easier said than done. 